All right, hello everyone. I'm just going to do some painting here on uh, my Shenosaurus. I hope you all saw the other night when I did the glazing technique, so I'm going to continue on now. <clears throat> I'm going to airbrush over top of the glazing that I did. I'm going to spin them around and so you can see, remove my pipe out of the way, get all my stuff set up and Hopefully you can all see where we're at now. I'll spin them around for a minute while I'm still getting all set up here. Um, Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to paint over I'm going to try and move this guy sorry for the shaking so the other night I did a glaze over top and that's why you can see the skin detail um, this time I want to paint the pattern over top of him and um, so what we're trying to do here is get the dinosaur uh, from dinosaur revolution so I'm going to continue with that right now I'm just trying to share this post so that people can see it and uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to get everything set up here so just give me one more minute here I'm just gonna make sure that everything's good make sure my sounds off on my cell phone so that we don't Get that coming through. All right, so <clears throat> make sure I can see what's going on here. So if any of you are familiar with Dinosaur Evolution, um, then you'll know roughly what I'm trying to do here. So I'm going to try and lift up this camera for one second and see if I can show you. That's me right there. there we go so this is the uh, dinosaur we're trying to paint here it's not going to look exactly like that but uh, hopefully we'll get it fairly close so that's what we're working on now so I'll get the camera back in place get it set up nicely so it won't shake anymore um, if anyone's interested in leaving comments or anything feel free to just leave them at the bottom I've got it on my phone right now so it should pop up so I'm gonna get my airbrush set up here turn on my air compressor all right we're gonna grab the Sotar 2020 Okay, everything's working good the Air's coming out okay. All right, there we go Nope, not enough yet just get that air just right. Hopefully the uh, 
Hopefully the uh, sound of the airbrush isn't going into the mic too bad. I'm hoping that it's... Unfortunately, it just kind of keeps going on and off here. So, <clears throat> I'm going to get started with this color here. And I will show you what it is so you can see here. That's what we're using right there. I don't know why my camera is not zooming in properly today. <coughs> and we've mixed it down with the uh, airbrush medium by Golden as well. All right, so. All right, we're going to make sure our airbrush is all cleaned out. I'm going to set it down on the table. I'm going to grab one of our blue rags here. Because we're going to need that to test it out. All right. So... We're going to see how we like this paint. Mm, I think that's pretty milky. So that's good. We're just going to grab a, a stir stick here. We're going to give it a quick stir because we want to make sure it's all good. All right. So we're good that way. All right. So I'm not sure if you can see here. We're going to dump a little bit of it into the cup. Use our rag so that we can see what we're doing here. Okay, it's coming out ever so slightly, but not exactly where we want it. So we're going to keep testing it here. So it's coming out now. <coughs> I'm just not quite happy with where it's at. So there we go. Okay, I think I like that there. So. Okay, that's good. Alright, so we're going to move everything out of the way, get our other colors set off to the side, and we're going to get started here. Oh, good. We're going to kind of lighten this guy up a little bit. Hopefully this dinosaur will be painted by the end of the weekend. I'm looking forward to getting this guy done. This guy will be, as soon as this is painted, then this guy will be available for sale. They'll come with a pretty awesome base as well, which I will show you. get the a uh, little bit of paint stuck on the tip so it's always important to get in there and clean that off oh 
boy. Not sure exactly what's going on here. Spraying pretty good, but we're getting some kind of splatter, which is kind of weird here. So I'm not sure what. No, oh yeah. Yeah, that's not that's no good. We can't have. <coughs> not good <clears throat> so what's actually happening right now is I'm getting a little bit of splatter and I'm not sure why my paint shouldn't be like that okay so we're gonna Alright, <clears throat> anyway, I think we've got it somewhat fixed. Just being a little finickety. Our main goal right now is now that we've done the glazing and we got a good base color we want to lighten this guy back up so because as you can see the dinosaur revolution his version is not near this not near as dark as this guy is so we're just kind of going over them lightly. The reason why I'm moving them or moving the airbrush around in kind of a weird pattern is because I don't want it to be too uniform because that will make it look silly, right? We want it to we want it to all blend in. And Alright, so I'm going to switch over to the other side now, lighten that up a little bit. Get that looking a lot better. <clears throat> now we're going to move to different colors for highlights. Eventually, up here we're going to have, uh, it's going to be really, <clears throat> really bright white up here, so we're going to add that as we go along. So for now we just want to lighten up what we're doing, get that nice and light, we're going to swing around to the tail here.
All right, let's see here. It's doing a little bit of splatter, so actually what we're going to do is we're going to actually allow that to happen. But we're going to make it look cooler by allowing it to splatter all over. It'll create like a new texture. Alright, I just gotta back out here and see what's going on. Keep splatter effect going. It's not really supposed to be splattering, but for this. actually gonna allow it <coughs> now hopefully you can see close enough oh I see what's going on We're figure something out here for a minute sorry guys because I just realized something as I'm going along here that the um, airbrush shaking is or sorry the compressor is actually causing the camera to shake so I'm gonna try something here that is not good Oh, and we are making a mess here. Well, that's okay. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn this off for a minute. Put some stuff down and see where the airbrush is plugged into. And I'm going to move it out of the way. This is just the base, so we'll just put that back up. Because we can't have that shaking like that. That's no good. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to set this down for a minute. Because we don't want it. We don't want our paint falling out. I think actually what I'm going to do, instead of moving my air compressors, I'm going to move the camera just over on the other table here. And I'm going to face it over to where I'm working. And that should stop the shaking. <laughs> so anybody who's watching, feel free to let me know if the, we're having trouble with the camera or anything like that. Or it's shaking. Because we don't want to... Uh, we certainly don't want any issues messing us up here. We don't want to be watching shaky videos. So now I'm going to go back over and I'm going to splatter... Create a cool effect of splatter here. Oh, I'm getting some mess here. actually liking what it's doing. It's actually creating a really 
cool effect. I heard you can buy these, um, well, I've actually seen it on uh, a couple of painting videos where people were using these Aztec airbrushes from testers and they were um, they had like a splatter tip which is kind of cool I thought that was pretty interesting because really it does create a pretty unique effect I've seen people do the splattering with them I've seen people do the splatter with uh, with a, a brush before, and it creates an awesome effect. One thing I will say is that I'm fairly new, well, I've been painting for a couple of years now, a few years, and uh, it's still a, it's, it's a learning process, so as I'm painting this, I want you to know that I'm not like a professional and I already know exactly what I'm doing and exactly how this is going to turn out. That's not me. What I am is someone who's constantly researching my paint techniques, trying to get them as good as I can, and uh, that takes some time. So, I figured the whole goal of this is so that others can see what I'm doing and hopefully learn a few things from me and help people out whatever way I can so now I'm gonna go back and add some more highlights again Still not as light as I want it, so I'm still not liking it yet. So we're going to lighten this up. We're going to add probably a, quite a few more layers before we're done. But it's getting there, certainly getting better, getting lighter as we're going. And because I've already done that glaze, it's holding um, the skin detail, the texture you're still able to see it so hopefully um, everyone can see I'm just trying to see if um, anyone's commenting sorry I just uh, I have to use my phone for it because uh, it's just kind of awkward so hopefully people are seeing this video I know it's kind of long so I'm gonna try and find the page and make sure that everybody's everybody can see share share it one more place sorry I just gotta take a break here all right get right back to this sorry guys there we go all right 
Perfect. All right, now we're back. All right, I'm going to continue to here to keep lighting it up. Like I said, if anybody has any questions, I will try and check it out. Keep looking over at my comments to see, um, <clears throat> and I'll answer any questions that people have as I as I can answer. Them. So, yeah. My son just came in, handed me some of his art stuff. He loves to do art as well. Got a whole family of artists, which is awesome. Just gonna keep going over this till I like where it's at. All right, we're getting there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dump this paint out my airbrush because I'm pretty much done with it for now. I will come back to it later. I'm probably actually going to mix it with a few other colors and add more to it. So, <clears throat> but for now we're going to clean this out. That's why these blue shop towels are really awesome. Definitely something you want to get your hands on whenever you can. Helps get right in there, clean it out. We're also going to use some um, uh, methyl hydrate. I that's what I use to clean my uh, airbrush out. Alcohol works good too. Um, which I might have to use because apparently my methyl hydrate has just uh, oh there it is Sorry about that. So I'm just gonna clean this out Methyl hydrate you can get from the uh, from Canadian tire actually um, I guess You can tell by saying that that I'm from Canada So I'm sure that uh, in the States it would be like Home Depot there we go. Let's thin this right out. All right. Now, when you're doing stuff like this, you want to open your brush back up and get it all cleaned out. We're going to use another container. These ketchup cups I get from a restaurant supply store. Awesome resource to have. So. I'll clean this out and then I'll try and use another color um, so yeah I'll add another color as soon as I'm done cleaning this out because you have to clean the airbrush after each color because if you don't it can turn into a real mess sometimes I just kind of rinse it out with water and then and then spray it out I actually might have to take a break and then restart a part four session of this because it is getting late and so I might have to actually finish this tomorrow but hopefully we can keep going or maybe I'll be go live a little bit later on <clears throat> tonight but pretty much the rest of it is going to be um, adding some brighter whites here here and then adding the um, adding the black patterns um, on and then after that um it should be done mostly and then i'll work on the base and then that should be the end of it hopefully that you guys aren't hearing all this sound of this air compressor but anyway i will end this live video and then i will actually come back with a part four once my airbrush is cleaned and that should go all right Okay. Wow. 
that it does it will do that because uh, as long as it, any kind of air getting through it it's going to keep doing that yeah but if i go like this see because yeah. now there's no air yeah so i gotta clean this you, uh, you still have a couple of packages of holes don't you no, uh, I, I had, I had red, oh no, there, yeah, there, that's what I have left, one red. That's it? Yeah, I'm actually going to have one of the, oh, I'll take that one, and then you can, okay. you're going to take them up with you. I'm just getting you through the night, so. Or is, it, is that going to get you through the night, though? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to watch our shows, are we? Yeah. Jay, I just tried to sign on, but it's shut off right away. What? Video. Yeah, because, well, he came in, so I just ended it, because he was coming oh. in, so. He doesn't like us hearing him talk. No, no, I don't. He gets, uh, no problem. Out. Yeah, I know, I, it, I know, it weirds me out when people actually come in the room. You. Yeah, I know, that doesn't bother, as soon as someone's in the room watching me, though, yeah. it, like, weird, it just does it just weirds me out, it's just weird, kind of. Okay, I didn't realize that. Oh, no, that's fine, I don't care, like, I was, I know it's getting late anyway, so. Can, you know what though if you leave that on there mm -hmm. and you come over here and you look at that mm -hmm. like right there just look at it from over here uh -huh. like obviously you don't want to glue that but that oh. looks cool to have like this like up layer in the middle well yeah i can do another layer on it that's what i mean i just wanted to explain this what is that it's dried resin it was all over the table oh that's the problem with that's the problem with that technique though that's the only problem with it is that you actually waste a lot of material that you and so, I didn't even really no like I kept it pretty good but if you top. well yes but it, I know that but if you actually look at like what the like what you're holding there is actually Oh, that thing? There's more. Oh, is that? Oh, crap. That's still streaming on this.